a lot of poo poo. It's okay, Ruby. <laughs> Lesson. But it looks pretty good. Kind of looks like pink eye now. You're a beast! <laughs> Ooh. really thick. Um, I'm hoping these next three won't be as bad, but I'm thinking likely it will be. Okay, this is why I don't like doing lime. Really quite nasty. Ooh, we threw down this lime. I don't typically use lime because I just find it very dangerous to work with. You have to really get geared up. I'm covered in it. I'm hoping this will help with the excess moisture in the barn. It's been bad this fall now. We've had a lot of rain and it's just been super humid. If we had a whole fall of what this past week was like, uh, the litter would be beautiful, but it's just so wet. So I'm, I am trying this. I've got uh, two and a half more bags here. This took about a bag and a half on the floor. So we'll see what it's like. It has to be well ventilated. You have to have a very well ventilated area and, uh, and I'm the one right in it. So I needed to be, make sure I'm fully covered because this stuff is nasty. Okay, Ruby. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Good girl. Come on, guys. No. Come on. That's it. I've been so preoccupied with cleaning that uh, side out that I haven't paid attention to how quiet these ewes are. Like for just being weaned yesterday, they're quiet. And Carissa said that the lambs across the road were quite quiet too. So I wanna go across there right now because I wanna show you that lamb with the eye. Cause yesterday I noticed while we were weaning, I forgot to show you guys, that the little ulcer was totally gone. So now it looks like it's kind of just red and foggy as if like it looks like pink eye. So we're half done. I'm gonna do this half next week. Uh, probably Monday, Tuesday, I think clean. So we'll see if there is a difference between the the uh, pen I spread with lime and the pen that I didn't. We will see if it makes a difference. At least I can say I tried. It's pretty quiet. Hey. Listen. You got out. noodle. Hey. What are you doing? Wow. Everybody's so quiet. I can't believe it. This is the most successful wean I think I've ever witnessed. Usually they're still really, really loud. It's so quiet. Chris has said they were already on the water this morning and I noticed yesterday they were already starting to uh, figure stuff out. So I don't know, maybe waiting an extra week or two for weaning them if you have the time and the space maybe that's a 
Maybe it's a good idea. Oh yeah, I have to find that lamb. Guys, where'd you find that string? Thank you. Here it is, right? You look so good, buddy. Hi, look at your eyes. Guys, you go. I'm trying to get a good... So the growth is definitely gone. So now it's just red, of course, because it was so injured. So there's his other eye. But it looks pretty good. Kind of looks like pink eye now. But you can almost kind of see the pupils starting to show up again, I should say. Good baby. All right. Well, the rest of the afternoon I have been working for you know who. Uh, the final little cleanups after a big harvest. T power wash wagons all morning, and we uh, put everything away under cover. Uh, it's starting. The temperatures dropped, and it's starting to feel a lot like winter's starting to blow in. Uh, so that's good to get all that done. We're putting. We're just taking the tender trailer down to our other shop. A few little housekeeping things because I always forget to give you guys lots of warning. My wool drop is happening on Wednesday, so that's November seventeenth. Which um, I like to do things kind of not ironically, but I like to do things that are meaningful. And I wanted my wool drop to be on the anniversary of when I launched my website. So my website will be a year old on November 17th. So that is when we have decided to launch uh, the wool. I'm very excited. I am collaborating with Mariposa. If you haven't seen that video, I'll try to link it in the description below if I don't, if I, if I forget, I'm sorry. Um, so that is happening. I just want to give you lots of warning. Uh, we did as much as we could to meet the time timeline. Uh, they're not a, they're not a huge mill. They're a very they're a nice small custom mill, and uh, they've just been such a joy to work with. And they worked their butts off to get the the stuff that we did get done. So there's some Christmas stuff over there. Uh, so I just wanted to fill you in on that. And the other thing is uh, yesterday morning I woke up. I can't believe I didn't talk to you guys about it. I've just, it's been so busy and hectic and I don't even know what end is up. I noticed I hit 400,000 subscribers, you guys, and thank God you guys click on these videos and watch them because um, I don't know what it is. I feel like, uh, I feel like YouTube doesn't really like my stuff and it's getting really nerve wracking on how to upload stuff. So um, you guys have just made it so much more enjoyable. And uh, yeah, so that's the two things. I just wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart for the 400,000 400, subscribers. I still can't really actually fathom that, to be honest. It's insane. I am going to go pick up Mark, and we are going to go get some beverages before the beer store closes. I am in my zone, and it's also where I edit. And my new little craft desk. I'm here with all my little creations that I've been doing when I'm not in the field and not in the barn. I've been ex so excited to put my hands on my own wool. A while ago I showed you a bunch of the wool stuff that we got in, but I didn't show you the Christmas stuff. So I really want to show you what we got for Christmas. So this is what I'm lovingly calling the candy cane sheepishly me wool. So that's really exciting. And I've been making some stuff with this. Bear with me. I made a I made a toque, and I made these. I'm not a knitter. I don't know how to do any of that. I bought a knitting machine, uh, so I have made all these toques. I've just I made some out of my Billy collection. Um, also with this wool, I've been down the Pinterest train, and I made these cute little toques. So cute. I made some ornaments, and with my Ruthie collection, I made this hat. And I also, last night, made a Ruthie wreath. Made a little snowman and then a little Christmas tree. Some other stuff that we got in the Christmas collection is this. This winter, a winterscape picture of sheep. And I believe they're doing an actual YouTube tutorial with that one because it is a bit trickier. And... My Billy gets his own felting kit, Christmas Billy. 
this has been what I've been doing as partly as just a mental break, but also because I'm making promo videos for Instagram. So the launch is Wednesday, November 17th at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. This is literally made for you guys. This was asked for um, and you planted the seed in my brain over a year ago and we've finally created some products and it makes me really happy. So I just hope it makes you guys happy too. Good morning you guys, it's, it's Monday and uh, we haven't been over here in a while. We are going to be doing some weaning weights, now they're nice and quiet. So Carissa has moved all the lambs over to the other side where we kind of, that's the entrance for our handling system. So we're going to run them through, put them over the scale, see what they're weighing up like. Alright kids, you on their own way. That's it. <laughs> Oopsie. All right, who's next? Well, that's another way day done, and it went really, really good, actually. Um, either that I told Carissa, or it's just because I haven't weighed lambs in over a month. Uh, so yeah, our average weight, I think our weaning weights are down this group, which uh, doesn't surprise me too much. We just had a really nasty fall. And uh, so the average weaning weight was 54.22, and I kind of think the last couple have been in that 58 range I could be wrong maybe 56 58 so definitely lower than they were now we do have some first-time lammers in this group so uh, their lambs typically are a little bit smaller I'd have to really dig in the analytics on that one uh, some other stats for for uh, rams and ewes we had 51 percent 51% were ram lambs and 49 were ewe lambs, which surprised me. I thought there was a lot of ram lambs in this group, but pretty much 50-50. Sires, 84% uh, of this group were Rito sired, which makes sense because that's a uh, majority of my rams are Ritos. So yeah, um, yeah, 84% were Rito, 9% were Ile de France sired, 6% were Suffolk sired. Does that add up? 7% Suffolk sired. Pretty, pretty good Rito group, which would have been nice for my uh, replacement lambs, but I typically don't keep lambs back from uh, September. It just doesn't go well with my system. Uh, however, there's a few in here I really like, so we're gonna, we'll see if I renege on that or not. And now we are going to run back over and clean a barn, another pen. We're getting down to this next lambing group and it needs to be clean. goodness here. 
It's hard to judge how wet this is going to be because this was the bottle, a little bit of the bottle pen and then the creep area. So I'll give this a go and see how wet we are. <laughs> Another pen done. So one more. I'm not entirely sure where that's going to fit. Kind of piling it higher and deeper. It's my kind of version of a PhD. I wanted to take a look at this uh, pen over here that we did with the lime. Um, I'm going to just get down to the bottom and see just how dry it is. Good, actually. So this was done Friday. Today's Monday. Hello, Freckles. What do you think it is? Hey, okay. so sweet. Hello. Anyway, looks good. Yesterday we had a little bit of an adventure with our feed cart. It's been acting up. It's really been acting up over the last year. Uh, just the the engine, just our Honda engine here. We couldn't really. We didn't really know what it was, so Mark ripped it all apart this morning, yesterday and this morning. We refill the cart up with fuel. Uh, there's a screen here, and it was just full of... The screen had popped out, and the chain was just kind of hanging. So uh, anything that got into that funnel that we have sitting over there, any little, little dust particles from all the feed that gets mixed over there, kind of went through the funnel and into that and it just it plugged up uh, the fuel line and just the bottom. There's like a little filter or something at the bottom. So that's what was snuffing this thing out. It just kept snuffing. So we finally got to the bottom of it. It took like a year and a half, but uh, Mark fixed this for me today. I'm, uh, while it's fresh in his head that I've helped him for the last like eight weeks, I'm trying to like get a lot of the uh, honey to do jobs off the list. So he even made me lunch today, cashing in those all those IOUs. Just like that. It's like leave my mind. What are you doing, Lucy? Up on your up on your blanket since you made a mess on my brand new couch that I haven't even sat on yet. Come on. Come on, up here. Up here. Not on me, on here. Good girl, sit, over here. Right on the edge, eh? I'm not gonna lie, it's been a bit crazy here. I'm not happy with this shot, just a sec. It's been a bit crazy here, uh, basically since, dare I say August, since harvest started. Typically when harvest and 
harvest and sheep overlap I'm pretty stressed out Carissa did an amazing job so that really did take the pressure off um, but I had a few things that I've been uh, working on over the last year uh, one of them being the merch launch which which went beautifully it went awesome of course I didn't order enough and uh, some people have comment or some people have emailed me and told me that there is a restock happening with that soon um, and the other big thing has been this wool and uh, uh, this is something that has been uh, kind of in the works for a year probably between my brain and networking and trying to find trying to find people that I can work with and uh, I'm so excited but I feel um, I have huge imposter syndrome right now because I don't know I think just long ago when I was first in the sheep business I, rem I just remember feeling like there was a big split in in uh, sheep that were meant for like good wool and then sheep that were that the wool would never be good enough and I guess because I haven't bred my sheep for the wool industry necessarily I I don't know I have I haven't been able to sleep much and uh, I'm just really nervous so I emailed Karen today at Mariposa and she really did talk me off the cliff and uh, she really consoled me and that means everything to me like when you find a partner to uh, collaborate with that um, knows the business she knows what her little mini milk can do uh, she knows that what we create is not going to be perfect uh, the wool that I have is not perfect wool but uh, the good the thing about my wool is there's a story behind it there's a story behind everybody's wool but I guess uh, the thing with mine is I've taken you for the whole entire process and you know we've seen we've seen these animals grow this wool over and over and over which is lovely it's renewable um, we've seen Charlie shear these sheep we saw Char Charlie shear this group I love her color that's a big winter coat You saw me loaded into bags and Carissa loaded into bags. You've seen us take those bags to Mariposa to get processed. It's just kind of breaking up the clumps. Yep. Yeah. still can't believe that's my wool. It's so nice. It's, I can't believe that's the same stuff. Get the fingers are not working. Make your braid. Yeah, however, you're. And then. Oh my goodness. That's right. Being with Karen that day and, and Ellen and seeing that whole journey of the wool and just how much I didn't know or understand, and I, I was blown away by the whole experience. And then to finally see the wool a few weeks ago, or a month ago, I don't know, and get to feel it and hold it in my hands. It was just, it's such a journey and such a circle. And I'm so glad I filmed it. I'm glad I've taken you guys through this whole thing because I've really enjoyed trying. I've really enjoyed the process. And I think no matter what it is, whether it's this YouTube channel or, or sheep farming in general, we, we follow the same a uh, journey of of learning and and uh, getting really nervous and not wanting to screw up and not wanting to trip and fall and then you trip and fall and then you screw up and then you learn so uh, anyway there's two more sleeps until this big launch um, I'm hoping I I can sleep <laughs>